HEB has pies right now, and I got one of the cherry ones, and I've never, I, I just realized I've never had a cherry pie. It's good, right? Are we rolling? Yeah. Yeah, never, never had one. I, it was one of the best pies I've ever had. How old are you? <laughs> Why are we talking about pie? Because I had a cherry pie and it would change my life. All right. Last night, we could totally do a whiskey and pie episode. We'll do a whiskey and pie. Because I, I bet it'd be amazing. Didn't we do that? Didn't I like, like ratchet strap your face down in a pie? If, I feel like I have this memory, yes. Welcome, Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <gasps> I stepped on your intro. That's fine. That's so rude. That's fine. Look, somebody that hasn't experienced cherry pie, I got to give you some grace. Yeah, because I'm still you, freaking out, man. Yeah, 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 this is a, it's a whole new world for you. <laughs> Okay, so this is, this is day one of post cherry pie. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, so there's one thing that I want to do real quick uh, because we have a weird today's weird combo day, and you're going to be tap dancing and trying to figure out. So this is iron root. Yeah, I'm going to need you to tap dance and figure out what you're going to do about it. Who sent the iron root? No, no, that's not it. Now that's one of the complicated of the things. things. Let's start with this one. Right. Recognize this? Matsui peated. The peated. Yeah, we just reviewed it like a. What was in the- Two days ago. Like the last shoot. Yeah, yeah the last shoot, so it showed up a few days ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, three days after that, it turns out a rep sent us the same bottle. Okay. Like one of the guys in charge of getting it out, they used a distributor in the US to send us a bottle because they saw that we had shot Matsui Sakura cask. Okay. And I had said, I wonder what the peated did. This sounds like. like the kind of conversation we have off camera. No, 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 no. Because none of this is gonna be relevant to it's what possible. we're doing here. No, 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 this is a benevolent bastard, right, right. but he's also a rep. So, the benevolent bastard animation yeah. is like, you benevolent bastard, but instead of like the guitar riff, he gets the cricket riffs. Okay, so, so and it's a rep I with the awkward, so what do we? So, no, I'm telling you, we say, oh, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. Animation. That is the combo. Right, right. Okay. But he's not the guitar riff. It's the cricket riff. Okay. So what's his name? His name is Shuhei Matsusaka. What he said, you've been a little bastard. Here we go. <laughs> All right. When this Charles Stella ball is gone, because it will be, we both really loved this. It was a, yeah, it was a weird angle on Pete, but I liked the uniqueness. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the second bottle. This is one we're actually going to drink. How, like, how much This is, this is a convertible way. No, hold on. Now, again, <laughs> this is a scenario where yeah. people in the industry have a vested interest. Yes. And we have a personal relationship with not only the distillers, but also the rep. Yeah, who was originally like he was—he's an OG magnificent bastard. From oh back yeah, the day. way back. And then he eventually got into the industry. Yep. Yeah. And is just a friend. Yeah. And so, so he's also a titan of whiskey that we've never titanted from his own donations, not Iron Root donations. Okay. So he's a titan rep. <laughs> Now, I'm actually really excited about so, this. So whenever we go into a review with a, a distillery who we know the people, mm -hmm. we try very, very hard to uh, be objective. We're gonna be as objective and fair as possible. At the same time, we've said this before, so many things color your perception of the whiskey. Mm -hmm. Everything from the price point to the bottle to the environment around it, whether or not you're having a good time. So we're gonna try like hell to be objective, mm -hmm. but we know the people and we know, you know, but that may in fact color our opinion of it. Okay, yeah. now first, this is Arbinger, but there's something very special about this bottling. Okay. Um, so Arbinger is their, uh, the, the whiskey that won best in the world bourbon. So, right? Right. And, and it's a mix of all these heirloom variety corn. So when I say and, about how many nice things I find on the nose. Yeah. It's like, look, they won best in the world, it's not just me. It's not just us, yeah. Yeah. But there's something even more interesting, but first try this. Yeah. It's a beautiful nose. Big, oh. rich, oily, and it doesn't get overly oaky. No, but the oak is present, but the fruit dominates. Yeah. This is one of the more fruity bourbons I think you'll ever get to try. Like a dark, it's a dark fruit. Yeah, for me. yeah. 
almost plums and dried, like it's not, dried fruits, right? It's not quite a sherry dark fruit, though. Not quite. It's a different kind of. It's more more of the oakiness from like the Texas whi whiskey, the climate impact with the, um, what is that like a uh, like a like a nutty molasses or something? Yeah, and there is a little bit of a slight smoky note floating back there. Yeah, but I think it's just the dark char notes or the barrel notes coming across as slightly rich. Yeah, and this is going to have a respectable proof. What mm -hmm. is it? Oh yeah, there we go. It's sixty. 122.76 proof, 61 and change ABV. Oh. Everything on that nose is in the palate. This is one of my favorite things about Iron Root is that they consistently deliver on both cylinders, palate yeah. and nose. Yeah. It, they're never sacri they don't seem to sacrifice one for the other. Yeah. Wow. Right? I'm left with, what is this, like a, like a toffee caramel on the finish? Yeah, but it's, a, but it's still a dark fruit still. Yeah. And then it's stronger toffee caramel, and then there's a slight smoky barrel note. Yeah. On the aftertaste. That's a hell of a whiskey. Mm. Now, here's the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. This is a bottle mm -hmm. from a barrel experiment that they're doing with Josh. Okay. Where they are taking whiskey out of the barrel three times. Okay. Over time. Okay. This is that same whiskey. Okay. The first time they pulled it. Yeah, yeah. This is the second pull of the same oh, whiskey. So batch two. Or yes. What they wrote on so it. keep that where you know exactly what it is, because we're now going to A B compare what it was the last time they pulled it versus what it is now. There just needs to be some music playing while this. <laughs> so this one was twenty-five months. This one is 32 months. Oh, this is different. Seven more months. It's different. Seven more months. It's not shockingly color different. Yeah, is uh, they still keep it cask? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that this one what rang in that? at 61.38. Yep. And this one was 61.38, oh, same. I wonder if they proofed it to get the exact same proof so it was an A-B comparison or if it, it just stayed Yeah, that. I would have expected it to drift a few decimal points. Maybe they just huh. flipped it in and didn't do the accurate proof. I got to say that maybe they did the lazy thing. It's a darker, richer. You just let it go by. Yeah, I totally the let it go by. The opportunity to bust. Look, everybody. No, I bust their balls all the time. Everybody over there is a ginger. Yeah, we even have a label that I'll have to show you when we're done with all this. Right. That Tom's Graves is partway through. Yeah. And, and the, I think the reason, the only reason they're good at whiskey, because gingers are good at anything, but the only reason they're good at whiskey <laughs> is because... It's sort of ginger. It's ginger colored. <laughs> That's, you know, they have a very small wheelhouse. <laughs> Anything ginger. <laughs> Anything ginger. They can do. Carrots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> carrot cake. Uh, carrots, really. Production of. It's just carrots and whiskey. Orange traffic cones. <laughs> it's much darker in tobacco in the second on one. On the batch two? No, in the batch two. Yeah. Yeah, the first one. Batch is way more green. Okay, so batch two is the first one that we tried. From now yeah. on, we're going to be saying batch one, which was the original, the original thing, and then batch two was something that they. Batch one is way more of this, like, kind of bright and grain heavy. I got I to tell, no. tell you. I kind of like batch two more. I really like batch two more. Yeah. I mean, this is a great whiskey, but. The smoke is more present on batch one, though. Like that sort of char note. Mm hmm. And batch two, the deep fruit notes sort of push all that away. And it's like the um, the layers, the individual layers that we're getting on batch mm -hmm. two, they became more developed, more rich, <clears throat> and more individualized. You can pick them apart, yeah. pick them out a little bit easier. Out uh, of the yeah, the one is more of like a general flush of flavors. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn it, it's good. That's amazing. Day. Yeah. Man, you guys, what happens if you blend them? Then it's going to taste like a blend of the two. Bitter and jaded. He Fair must enough. be a ginger. <laughs> uh, I keep thinking they should just make a rare whiskey Friday into, or even an animation with the voiceover, but watching Daniel butcher it every now and again is just too amusing. <laughs> Maybe cut one together, one phrase at a time from lots of different episodes. Watching Rex's hair change during the intro might be amusing too. 
Yeah, you're that, more work for Dan. More work for Dan. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> Dan, go back through uh, every word, every single word of every Friday and since you got here. <laughs> John McElwain. Uh, going to send oh. you a knife, Daniel, and sunglasses for Rex. Oh, right, I need this. So here's the thing: uh, how, are we already long on this episode? Because we I might mean, need to. Do, are we cutting the first three minutes of us Probably, just rambling yeah, yeah, yeah. about bullshit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Because John McElwain sent like a serious gift package. Okay. And I got the knife and I left it on my desk because it was so cool. And I forgot I was playing with it and it's sitting up there. But will you go get it? But go get the knife. While I'm doing that, go get the knife! You go through this whole package. Good lord. Yeah, that all came from John. I'll be right back. Thank you, John. Maybe, oh wait, I need uh, a key. Maybe Ice Tongs also will build you a desk podium to display review bottle. We'll have drawer for Glenn Cairns for Daniel. Rex in hand, lol. Thinking red oak or salvaged barrel wood. Yes. He's hardcore, man. Yes, all of those things. Okay, so first of all, Caramel creams. Oh, right on. Got candies. It's very whiskey esque candies. The Benzel's mm. Rod Pretzels. You know how I love the rod. David. Oh, the barbecue. I haven't had the barbecue. Some sunglasses. I need some sunglasses. There. Oh, good lord, man. Note. Mustache wax. <laughs> yes. Look, at, look at all this stuff. I'm not halfway through, David. I you? know. There's mustache wax. There's. Santa Ana Premium Blends Whiskey Bar Beard Oil. What is this? Home Pluggable Fragrance Warmer. It's a fragrance thing. Oh, so you make some makes the candles. And then yeah. there's things to put into the candle right here. Yes. Uh, sparkle with all your heart. That's for you. And then there's one because for me. Because for the sparkle master. Yeah. Right. It's time it's like to the sparkle. sparkle. <laughs> you know, with all of this beard oil and mustache wax, we may need to bring back the beard sparkle. Ding! <laughs> you, you He's me, hardcore, right? Yeah, you've sent me more gifts than I've gotten from my family in the last 10 years. Yeah! <laughs> Beard ball. That's probably accurate. And the, the gentleman, scented bird, thank you for so many things. Look at this adorable tiny knife. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah! Look at that. That's perfect. perfect, right? Yeah! All right, yeah. I'm gonna open your card for you with this tiny knife. Jeez. Ooh, that was sharp. This feels like it's very a self-indulgent episode. It really does. Because we started sloppy rambling about- We're drinking our own friend's whiskey. Right, and our own friend's whiskey, we're opening up chips. <laughs> Presents. Yeah, hey Rex, uh, sent a care package, hope Dan give- Gives you the glasses. Gives the glasses. Ice tongs and purple, purple. All the stuff. Oh, it's hard to read his handwriting. Hope to be an MD someday. Someday. A uh, Breton for the. Don't, oh, you don't need any money for a. We're going to get to that. Oh. You don't need any money for me to try to track down old tub. New release name. of old tub. In Edge the shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, Probably I enjoy says, the shenanigans. There you go. Please yeah. buy title. Please buy title of nobility $20. Able to me in five minutes, Morn. <laughs> just made it. There's something on the back. That's what it's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vlad of the Lake Hands into Poor Rex Celeber. Since I'm just making more <laughs> I'm saying it. I'm saying what's here. John, I'm sorry after all that generosity. <laughs> that Since wrecks. UPS Spirit Eagle Isoprone Long Juice <laughs> Sir Mooch. Long juice, my man. I feel you. John. I feel that long juice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the body stealing and drinking. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's long juice. <laughs> and if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.